one. Come on, slow down, girl. We're gonna be fishing for a little bit of everything today, mostly smallmouth. We did bring a gar set up, but it's so shallow. Yeah. We're gonna be able to. It's not, definitely not as deep as it was the last time we were here. Look yeah. at the cows over there bathing. That and there's also a lot of grass. I'm gonna have to walk out some because this, it's a bunch of grass right here. You really can't do much with that. Let's put one of these in here too. Take this little bag with us so we don't have to carry this bag but i want to try this new bait out for a little bit it's uh, very interesting looking and haven't used anything really like it so i'm eager to see how that's gonna do let's go we're gonna just walk out try to avoid this grass because it, it's pretty funky looking look at all the minnows so many minnows right here it's crazy this water is actually a lot colder than I thought it would be. It gets pretty shallow out here, so if we can get around all this, looks like we'd be good. The problem is every step I take, it's getting super fogged up on the bottom, and I can't see. If I take my next step, and I don't want to fall. So let's just wait for that to clear out some. I think it would probably go around that way. It'd be better. Let's get up here. Whew. That was just sketchy. We ain't having all that now. Really don't even want to walk in there. This grass edge, to be real with you. It's freaking me out a little bit. This way. And yeah, makes a little bit more sense because it's more shallow. Then I was trying to go through those deep holes over there. Navigate around all these grass patches. What an adventure already. This grass wrapping around my legs. I'm not gonna freak out though. Freaking out is what I'm not gonna do. Okay, it's getting shallow again. We like that to walk in, not to cast in. I'm gonna make a few casts right here, probably just a few, and I'm gonna switch baits. And um, I don't really see many other places I'm gonna be able to walk around at. So I'm trying very hard to make this spot work. So there are all those rocks. I know it's a big girl hanging out around here somewhere. Maddie's gonna be at the bank using live bait. She didn't want to come out here. And I can understand why. It's a bunch of cow poop and pee. Feels like a fish. Oh, I had one. I had one. I should have waited a second longer. I didn't know. Felt those little head shakes last minute. Or I would have did a better job trying to set that hook. Still pretty cool on the new bait. They'll bite this. I feel we have a pretty good chance about getting them on something a little more natural colored. Maddie got the first live bait, which is wonderful. First live bait. Um, this is probably going to be for the catfish. So let's get that rigged up. Cast up this way too. Sort of fan casting around. It's so many rocks and stuff all through here. It's overwhelming to really pick up a place to zone in on and target. Get up there was a bite. Felt like it. Up oh, it was. Come on, come back for it, please. Got him. It came off. No, he came off again. What is going on? Pulled it down. All right, we got to do better than this. Let's get this fish. That was such a powerful bite too. Getting a little hard to get one on the new bait. I don't think it got hooked. It might have though. Here comes a bunch of kayakers. <sighs> Maddie, how's it going? All right. Oh, catch number two is a rock bass. Um, he's a little bit too large and I already have uh, bait on the catfish pole. We only brought one catfish pole. The other pole is for gar. So this is a little bit too big. So we're going to go ahead and put him back. Maddie over there catching all the species. I had one bite and I was about to get him. I thought nothing's a guarantee. He's like right in that area. Not going to lie, I felt really small, but a fish is a fish and I just want to catch one. 
got one. That's too small to count. It's so little. My freaking worm is bigger than this bitch, y'all, but hey, it's a start. Look at that little cutie. Just a little beauty. Look at the colors. These guys are uh, like clearer water generally, and they can tolerate a little bit more current than their largemouth relatives. Let's get him right back in. There it is. Well, that little guy got the party started. That felt like a bite. He ain't that big, but he's a fish. Another danky. He's a little bit more respectful than my last one, and that's not saying much. Thank you so much, little buddy. Look at that cutie. Go tell your grandma, your great grandma preferably, that uh, I said come bite this worm. God, that was a big bite. Come back for it. That was one of those bites that's so quick you don't know what to do. Digging. It's either that or it's in a lot of grass. No, I don't think it's that big. I think they just fight really hard. He's decent. All right, buddy, let's tire you out a little bit more. You feisty fish. Feisty fish. Right, hopefully you don't spit the hook. Yeah, he's decent. He was barely hooked. Nice little fish. He's a little bit more respectable than what we've been catching. Go ahead and get him right back in. They take off so quick. Look who decided to join us. Yeah. Got a bite. All right. Didn't get that catch on camera because my camera keeps overheating, but check out this beauty. Fat belly on it. Look at that belly. Boop, boop. Gorgeous. We're gonna go ahead and let him go. There he goes. This ought to get us some fish right here. Yeah. It's like people coming where we're fishing, trying to swim. Okay, we'll just go. You wanna go? All right, we're gonna have to switch places because people just showed up and started swimming right where we're fishing. Like Maddie just had to reel in because she doesn't want them to get hooked. It's crazy, there's like so many places to swim too. But let's go right where they're fishing. Well y'all, we just got really started fishing. We caught a few, but um, people came up and started swimming. So yeah, right over top of the live bait line. They literally um, had to go under her line like, in the water like dive under the fishing line so i don't know I, i'm honestly i'm speechless but anyways we're gonna try to find another spot with what time we got left it was successful at least we caught a few nothing giant or anything but it was fun and um we got on some multi-species action but we're gonna head on and see if there's any other places where people aren't swimming there's public pools there's literally we have lakes with beaches mm -hmm. we have parts of the river with beaches but Let's go choose the part where people are fishing. That's where we're gonna swim. Uh, makes total sense. But anyways, we're gonna go find another spot. We'll catch you guys then. This is uh, our second spot. Honestly, what I've seen this summer, it wouldn't surprise me if people are swimming in here. We want to see people outside swimming and having fun and enjoying the great outdoors. Just, um, you know, have a little bit of respect for others too. People are swimming there. Don't set up shop and start casting your line. If people are fishing there, don't show up and start swimming in front of them. Even beside us, I would've been okay with that, but literally diving under the fishing line. But I'm over it now. We're gonna go down here and try to get on some smallmouth 
while we uh, still have a little bit of time left. A storm is, you can see, brewing right above us. So hopefully we have a little bit of time left. Yeah, people are swimming at the dam here, guys. So uh, when we first got out the car, they're up there. Maddie said no way anyone would be swimming down here. They are. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna fish. Oh, did you see that monster out there jump? It was a monster. So we can get our big small jaw. We haven't targeted them in so long. You guys see why, in summer months come around, it's really hard. Places where a smallmouth are at, it's a lot of people that like to swim around here. It's just really competitive finding a spot. Oh, I'm getting a bite, Maddie. Nope. I thought I was getting a bite, maybe I wasn't. That's a bite. Got him. Can you keep him on? He's little. Stay on, baby. Yes. Knew we'd eventually get one. Barely got you, too. Corner of your mouth. Not much bigger than what else we've caught. But still a little cutie. Thanks, baby. There he goes. Hanging out right in that current. Yeah, something popped right beside you. It's a fish. Oh. He's pretty. Oh, he's really pretty. He's really pretty. Beautiful little fish. Little chunk too. Hammered that little minute. And then he disappears. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. We are off to different waters. As much as we want to fish up there, there's people still swimming and um, fishing as well. So I think we've caught just about all we're going to catch right here. We've tried a bunch of different things, but we're not giving up yet. We're going to head on to different waters and hopefully we can find another spot where nobody is swimming at. We'll see. It is summer. You know how summer is around here. Not for much longer. Yeah, thank God. Summer is almost over. Everywhere we've went, there have been people swimming. We've had a really hard time accessing any fishing locations. But you know what? I'd say all in all, we made the most of it. Might have only caught dinks, but a dink is better than nothing. Poles in hand. Well, Maddie gets the bag ready. And we're just gonna walk this little trail over here and try to find a spot to set up shop and get some of these poles casted out. We walked this trail for a good while and every fishable spot was taken. We're gonna eventually find a spot. It looks a little muddy. I think it's a lot of pleasure boaters. You wanna keep walking? All right, we're gonna walk this trail just a little bit longer and see if we can find more secluded. I don't think that's gonna exist here, but a little place to ourselves. I'm trying to get away from all the pleasure boaters, you know? We eventually came across a little cove that was free from boats and people. Ray got her first fish of the day. What is it? It's a bass. This is just a little bycatch right here. But ain't he pretty? Look at his tail. I feel like the black markings. Real pretty little guy. It's getting back in. It's a fun little catch. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he shot off. After a few small catches, we realized our chances of catching something of quality in this area was very slim. Sure, 10 pounder right there, we hope. Let's let this little dog baby go. With what little energy, time, and gas we had left, we decided to try one last spot in hopes of catching at least one decent smallmouth bass. We'll go somewhere else. We are heading to a spot that a few friends showed to us. Honestly, we're just hoping to get on some fish today, preferably a big fish. Let's get up here and uh, 
see what we can make happen. All right, you guys. We got our live bait out, and we're just having fun throwing some uh, artificial baits around. Just trying to see what we can catch. I'm gonna go with this natural color worm and see how that does. Okay, guys, we walked over here through the woods a little bit just to see if anything's hiding out near this creek. Pretty shallow right here, though. Let us see if anything's lurking. It's a log under the water right here. Just trying to make sure nothing's glued to that. Oh, it's big. Yeah, it's pulling drag anyways, like a big one. All right, guys, we're gonna have to get down here to land this fish. Okay, yeah, she ain't little. Come on, stay down, girl. She's trying to pull me up underneath that structure. All right, girl, come here, come here, come here. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. One, two, three. Oh, wow. Not a trophy, very close to it. Now right, we're gonna get her back over here so I can use the pliers for her and get a quick weight. Let's see how much this big girl weighs. 2.22. 2.22, nice one. Y'all, this is the fish I've been wanting to catch right here. This summer presented its obstacles, but we stayed determined and made the best out of every moment. I'm gonna get her right back in. We want to thank you for watching, and as always, we'll catch you on the next adventure.